<laughs> so yeah, it picks itself up as, as if a wilder is holding it and makes an attack against you. That seems fair. <laughs> 48 damage. <laughs> yeah, I die. I'll uh, be back with I'll wait. Um, first of all, however, I need to remember to tell it that it doesn't always get advantage. <laughs> I would like you to do or, that. Or does it, John? <laughs> no. I lose a party member, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> God. This hey, is a I'm mess. playing on my flaws here. <laughs> That's true. Oops. I don't don't expect the weak to save themselves. It's nature's way to be strong and thrive while the weak perish. So I'm taking. This is why we money. have the. Uh, okay. This is the there annual Darwin Awards right here. <laughs> right. So it swings at you. Uh, Seventeen hits your armor class. Just. Five points of slashing damage. Yeah, I'm down. You collapse forward onto the bed. The sword hangs itself back up. You are unconscious yeah. and bleeding because out. I'm under, because I'm on the flight, literally underneath, and do I just hear a thud? On the you hear, <laughs> yeah, you hear flying sword. It's a flying sword. Thwick, thud. <laughs> like it, it sounds like he's just hit the, uh, like it's the spring, like springs of the bed. I don't like the the wood of the bed creaking as he's like landed on it. Frame kind of like hits the floor. As <laughs> the frame heaving. <laughs> and then the sword just kind of hangs itself back up again above He's the door. I'll go get him. I better go help my compatriots. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. No, no, stay down there. Get your information. I'll get him. So, uh. Can I roll a strength to carry this dumbass downstairs? <laughs> uh, I would suggest that instead you just kind of. Stabilizing me? <laughs> stabilize. Um. How do I do that? Which I will remember how you do in a moment when I look it's it up in the book. That's good, so it's not medicine just because I know what I'm doing. Oh no, I, I rarely remember the dying rules. Uh, there's a I, I know that if you've got a potion, you just shove a potion in the fucking neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a medicine. And I have to make death saves and stuff as well. Uh, oh. Let me check. I think it's Probably. fairly simple. I think it's medicine, and if you have to pass a certain DC, it stabilizes me, is it? Or something like that? Yeah, like there's a medicine thingy here. Yeah. Yeah, or straight wisdom if you don't have medicine as a thing. Yeah, but if you click medicine and you don't have it trained, it'll still just do your wisdom trained. modifier. Yeah. So you can just click on that. Uh... Uh, so yeah, make a uh, wisdom medicine saving throw. So make a medicine saving throw. Uh, how do I make a saving throw? Uh, just, just roll medicine. it. No, yeah, oh. no, medicine. It's a wisdom. I have to make saving throws. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You, you just kind of fumble at him with some medicine. It doesn't seem to help. He's still you bleeding heavily. So hard. Do I need to make a death saving throw? Uh, do make a death saving throw, yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, that's a failed death saving throw. Um, can my medical hit staunch the bleeding? Uh, your medical kits can, you've just got to know how to use them well enough. Sean, if you want to head upstairs, now's a good time. <laughs> I, go, I go upstairs. I'm, I'm... He's dying! I'm not cut out for this! Uh, make another medicine check. <laughs> I enter the room. So what's happening? Whoa, my fucking god, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's stabbing me and thinking it helps. <laughs> I did my best. You're unconscious, you can't tell him that. I, I'm, 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 I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even though I'm still as bad at medicine as she is. Uh, both of you can make medicine checks now. Okay. <laughs> well. Uh, he stabilizes. Yay! Okay, hold on. Let me do one. Oh, is, he, is he conscious or is he still on? Uh, he's stable, but he is still at uh, zero hit yeah, points. I don't regain any health. <laughs> no. um, okay. So, largely now, you guys are going to have a nap. I love it. We, we drag him down the stairs. <laughs> no, let's just leave him to sleep in here. Like, I don't even want to carry his ass. Let's face it, if he comes to in here, he's going to try and open the chest again. The chest is open, yeah. to be yeah. fair. No, I'm pretty sure the trap locks it again. Like, after you open it, it uh, To be fair, the chest closed. isn't locked. Yeah. It's I kind closed. of relying on no. that. I, I close the chest again. 
Oh, it's closed. It's just oh, not yeah. locked. No, but if you reopen it, it'll just trigger the trap again. Well, so, yeah. And if he reopens it and triggers the trap again, that's his own fucking fault, to be honest. Okay. I... What you guys have done in uh, defeating the gnomish threat to the area is... Goblin threat? <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> what you have done in you defeating... The, <laughs> the goblin threat to the area. Damn it. Uh, is you've gained enough experience to level to level two. I love that. Uh, so we'll do that now. Oh, cool. Uh, while some of you sleep. <laughs> yeah, I need to sleep a little bit because I did take a hit last time. So, uh, so you can... Uh, the guards say basically you can rest up here. They'll... Stand guard because that's what they do. Um, <laughs> they advise that you don't open that chest again, but uh, anything else in the room you can probably take. Um, there's really not a lot in the room that you'll want. Um, the four wardrobes, if you go through the four wardrobes, each of them has basically a season's worth of ladies' fine clothing. Uh, so one of them is the summer clothes, one of them is the spring. Uh, it's all in the latest fashions of Waterdeep. So, and you, if for God's sakes, Berserker, take those panties off your head. You wear those. <laughs> they are soft against my bonds. <laughs> uh, I've got my actual bare head as a helmet, if we recall, so I don't wear panties on my head, thank you. <laughs> I think you'll find Fuzzles wears them on his head. <laughs> I, I, well, see, I thought you put them on your head because you thought the leg holes were for the ears. Okay, I'm not actually thick, I'm just not charismatic. There is a difference. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> You just went in and triggered a chest and got yourself killed. Yeah, I'm uh, dead. Not... I just want my payroll. <laughs> so, barbarian. <laughs> yep. Uh, things you gain at level two, in case you don't have the book to hand. I do. I have the book to hand. Actually. Very useful. I'll read through all of you because I know that Jennifer, you don't, and yep. also for audience members at home. Hopefully, Sean will read through his because I don't have his to hand. I, I've got mine. Don't you worry. <coughs> <laughs> uh, so Logan, starting at second level, you throw you can throw aside all concern for defense to attack with fierce desperation. When you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack recklessly. Doing so gives you advantage on melee weapon attacks using strength during this turn, but rolls against you will have advantage until your next turn. I love it. Uh, however, you also gain a danger sense. At second level, you gain an uncanny sense of when things nearby aren't as they should be, giving you an edge to dodge things. Uh, you have an advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see, such as traps and spells, uh, but you have to be able to see them and be able to move, so you can't be blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. What about arrows flying at him from inside windmills? Uh, if he had a dexterity saving throw against that, he would gain an advantage on it. I love it. As long as he was pissed off. <laughs> uh, okay. As a Sorry. fighter... John, quick question. Yes. Um, for health, are we rolling or can we take average? Uh, roll it. Cool. Fine. I've got... A ten. ten. So I get ten more lovely hit points. Uh, wait, so how do we do this? You roll your hit dice plus your constitution modifier. Uh, so yours is 1d10 oh, plus okay. whatever your con modifier is. One. Wow. And how do I do that? So slash roll 1d10 uh -huh. plus whatever your constitution modifier is. 1 or the 13? No, it'll be the, the number. So it'll be a plus it'll one, be the 1. Kind of okay, sorry. There's two numbers, so... <laughs> the fifth number is your... Is Score. Your the big oh. number's the score, the small number's the modifier. Right, okay. I've got it the other way. Okay, I got... You've got 10, ten more hit points. Cool, so I'm at 17. Uh, you also gain an action surge. Oh, yeah. Uh, so starting at second level, you can push yourself beyond your normal limits for a moment. 
On your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and possible bonus action. Uh, once you use this feature, you must finish a short or long rest before you can use it again. Who, me or him? That's you. Yeah. Oh, where do I write that? Uh, just put action surge down under traits. Yeah, features and traits. Okay, hold on. Trying to find that. Features and traits. Uh, what'd you call oh, it? Action surge? Action surge. U-R-G. Cool. Uh, so yeah, basically, you can push yourself beyond your normal limits for a moment. You can take one additional action on top of your regular action and your bonus action. One turn uh, per short cool. or long rest. Awesome. Uh, Sean, what did you gain at second level? I don't get much, but one thing I do get is rather snazzy. Um, first of all, at second level, I get uh, I get tool expertise. Uh, starting at second level, your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make that uses any of the tool proficiencies you've gained from this class. Right. So any of my tool proficiencies I've got. Because you have I a lot of tool proficiencies, don't you? I got shit tons. You get loads of them just for the class, and then for guild artists, and I think you get like another two. So I've got like fucking tons. <laughs> and so you get expertise, you get double on all of your tool I, I get double proficiency. On <laughs> That's insane. Bless you. Um, and then I get wondrous invention. What's that? At second level, you gain the use of a magic item that you have crafted. Choose the item, choose the item from the second level items below. Crafting an item is a difficult task. When you gain magic items to this feature, it reflects long hours of study, tinkering, and experimentation that, find, that allows you to finally complete this item. You are assumed to have worked on this item during your leisure time to finish when you level up. Okay. Uh, so if you take none of the advantages of the long rest, you can work on it now. I don't think you need any, do you? So, yeah, yeah. I'll... So he can stay awake and tinker. Yep. So I think the most use because of the second level items, I can make a bag of holding, a cap of water breathing, a drift globe, goggles of night, or sending stones. I would say goggle of night if we're heading for a cave. I'm thinking bag of holding. Bag, bag of holding, holding will come in very handy. That's like a bag that weighs what what like thirty pounds, but it can hold five hundred pounds. Oh, okay, yeah, that's handy. See, I've got, I've got like a stupid amount of strength, so I can just carry my shit. <laughs> I can carry I, at the moment. I can carry my shit, but once it gets to that, it's like fuck. I can carry everything in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could just stuff the uh, soldiers in your bag and then toss your bag across the bridge. I think things die if you put. Them yeah, in the living bag. things don't do well in the... The, the. The the bag is a vacuum, so anything that's in there has to hold their breath. <laughs> well, yeah, but if we just toss them across and then they crawl out, if, if, if they want to do that. <laughs> either way, I now have a bag of holding. I'm so down. So yeah, you've you've spent I'm... this long rest tinkering away, and you've turned a normal I, pouch. I, I kind of had it like during the journey here. I've been like working on it on and off. It's just like the the, the out like the kind of like basically finished bag and it's just like I just just do the last few panels and stitching you finally cracked it and then just as I finish it's a like a the vacuum opening up as the bag is now the bottom of the bag is no longer there I just like in the corner working on it and it's no fuck yes <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the long rest uh, you regain all lost hit points yeah, hear that barbarian? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm feeling good. There is still a dumbass. Uh, the character Don't also regains hit spent hit dice up to a number of dice equal to half the character's total number of hit dice. But seeing as what? we didn't take any short rest, <coughs> we have two hit dice. But you will have two hit dice. Yeah. Uh, you can't benefit from more than one long rest in a 24 hour period. Oh, that's fine. Did these soldiers sleep, or did they just stay there, staring at the wall? Uh, they, they went out and guarded. Yeah. <laughs> this sir. place no one can get into, or they can't get out of. Correct. These strange four people, who all look exactly the same, supposedly went outside and just monitored the place where nobody can get to. 
Right, that sounds legit. As morning breaks, <laughs> uh, you hear very distantly from uh, a watchtower that you left someone in in town. <laughs> oh, oh god! I thought we agreed we weren't going to do that again. Oh, no, god. that is our code word. I take a step outside. Hang on. Am I awake yet? <laughs> I'll follow him outside. Uh, you can hear hoof. I still don't agree to rock a caca, though. John, am I awake yet? <laughs> uh, yes. Hooray! Right, I'm going to step outside and go, rock a caca? <laughs> Get a questioning inflection. <laughs> can I smack him upside the head? Do I hear rock a caca? Uh, yes. Then I grudgingly uh, ignore the sword on the wall and head outside. <laughs> Alara shouts from the uh, wall of the uh, bally. What does Rukka Kaka mean? Don't ask! Shit just got real. <laughs> it means danger. And I stride out of... Yeah, the I run out to the <laughs> jetty towards Rukka Kaka. Uh, I, I stand on the edge and kind of... <laughs> Depressed because we're actually doing rock. I need you to toss me. <laughs> what? I said toss me. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. <laughs> cool. Um, Probably shouldn't be tossing each other until we figure out what the hell we're hearing. Yeah, can we see the elf? Is he doing <coughs> saying rock a caca over and over? Uh, he's waving from the top of the watchtower that you can see him at and pointing at the front gate. Oh. Uh, which right. you the drawbridge can, we pulled up, right? The drawbridge yeah. that you pulled up. Which uh, I don't think we can see, can we? No. Nope. I tossed the artificer over. <laughs> I think you can from where you are. I, I don't know. I mean, there's a whole... The, 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 the thing's like all the way around the edge of the... Because obviously, like yeah. the northern side. Of yeah, the... from the bridge you're on, you can see out to the the drawbridge. Because this yeah. is higher than well, the village. We're elevated, aren't we? I yeah. suppose. Just. Is it easier for me to throw Fenthwick across, or just put him under one arm and leap with him? You can just put him under one arm and leap with him. <laughs> Running with gnomes. Uh, you yeah. can see there are seven uh, people on horseback approaching the drawbridge. Oh, great. They're gonna find that fucking body. I <laughs> grab the gnome, I take a running I take a running start, and I leap across. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I go after him. How do I land? Oh, I landed pretty well. Alright, hold on. Oh, uh, uh, for landing coming from this way, because you're going from up to down, it's an, uh, it's an acrobatics check, not athletics. Uh, Alright. That's less good. <coughs> oh, that's bad. Sean, can you also make an acrobatics check? <laughs> Something bad happened. I'm not saying it, but I land <laughs> I land on you. Uh, so yeah, basically uh Chupacabre leaps down and forward flips down the bridge, comes up into a stance with the um with her swords out and ready to charge towards the front gate as thump behind her, Logan lands awkwardly on one foot. Um, Fenthwick Fizzlebang comes flying out from under his arm and tumbles down, <laughs> tumbles down the rest of the bridge. Uh, let's see. Um, Sean, you take... Oh, it's a natural one, yeah, it's it. you're screwed. <laughs> You take five points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> like, I seriously just have to stop and stare back at them in absolute wonder of a complete fail. Logan, your knee, your, your knee and your ankle twinge, and you take six points of bludgeoning damage. God damn it, I've just oh. got to full health. <laughs> oh 
my god. I start it's, sprinting towards the gates. <laughs> it's just really good I'm on your guys' team, I guess. You start <laughs> sprinting, like... but you limp. And... I, I'm sorry, if we're going on actually wins to losses, do you remember what happened in the last fight? I took down a windmill and I cut a guy in half. You missed a guy and then our friend shot him. Yeah, but remember, I took down like three orcs on my own last session. Was I it don't remember that at all. Uh, yeah, <coughs> well, you guys were busy desecrating the corpse. Do you no, remember? I, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing up this ladder. Yeah, we've climbed up either side of the watchtower. Alright, you guys stand at the watchtower, I'll stand here and just get ready to shoot things. 